little bit too cold, yep. <laughs> but it's going to improve as we head toward the weekend, right? I think it's heading in the right direction as far as you're concerned. Mm -hmm. We're going to see temperatures going up as we head into the holiday weekend. Well, we do have Friday tomorrow and then yeah, we will look ahead at next week as well. It is still cold out, but it's not as cold. How about that? There is High Point University with beautiful blue skies above everybody with the sunshine. This whole week, as a matter of fact, has been sunny and dry compared to last week's wet week. Well, we are looking at temperatures on the up. Once we deal with another cold night, it is 41 degrees right now. South Southwest wind helped us today to get into the 50s in most communities, but you can already see some 30s in here where the air is cooling off quickly. We've got 37 in Danville, 37 in Burlington, as well as Lexington, 36 in North Wilkesboro. The temperatures should be in the low to mid 30s by tomorrow morning, so it should stay just above freezing. We do have clear skies. We have a light south wind that should stay up most of the night, and the morning temperatures are going up so that we've got 40s in the forecast for Saturday, Sunday and Monday morning. Afternoon highs climb as well will be in the upper 60s. Probably the warmest day uh, 67 for Saturday afternoon. High pressure is moving offshore tomorrow, so that will enhance that south wind. It'll also help take our numbers into the 60s. I think by late Friday afternoon, high temperature about 63 degrees in the Piedmont Triad for the foothills. We'll start with temperatures in the low 30s should make it to about 62 by late afternoon. Also with sunny skies. And we do have the sunshine in the forecast for the mountains as well with high temperatures. Also pretty mild for the mountains with that south wind a little stronger at about 10 miles an hour. We'll make it into the low 60s. You see where that south wind's coming from. It comes around the area of high pressure, which moves offshore and ahead of the front that is out there to the west. That front does not have much rain with it. And actually we have had plenty of rain, right? Not just last week, but November to date, 4.6 inches is about two and a half inches above normal normal and then for this year it's the second wettest year to date we're about 19 inches above normal and in fact for the last two years we're about 32 inches above normal it is the wettest two year period now we don't have to deal with any drought right now across our part of the country, so we're not the only ones that have been a little wet out to the west. You will see though dry conditions as we've got extreme to exceptional drought over the desert southwest, also through the Rockies and the forecast for the next couple of weeks has drier than normal conditions expected across much of the nation, and that does include even in our area. There's not much rain on our seven day forecast, and this actually takes us beyond Thanksgiving into early December. We've got warmer than normal temperatures expected all across the nation, so we're definitely off to a real mild start here. A triad weekend forecast has the temperatures in the 60s and dry skies should be a few more clouds around on Sunday because that front I just showed you is going to be kind of moving in here. I do think there's a slight chance for rain in the mountains late Sunday, but otherwise we're going to keep the foothills dry this weekend. Our mountain forecast has temperatures in the low 60s and then dropping off a little bit on Sunday in the mid 50s and perhaps a late day rain chance on Sunday. If you're traveling to the beaches for the weekend, you've got temperatures in the 60s along the Outer Banks with some scattered showers and we'll be in the 70s for the Crystal Coast as well as the Grand Strand. Let's bring you up to date on the tropics again. Nothing that's really going to pose much of a problem tropically. It looks like this one may develop, but very, very slow development, so nothing happening right now. Here's our seven day forecast. I do have a little dip in temperatures early next week as the front pushes in here. It may squeeze out some showers Wednesday, maybe lingering into Thanksgiving Day, but I look for temperatures to rebound a little bit into the 60s by then.